it in, guys. I'm Danny. And I'm Dan. And we're back with another <laughs> seltzer review. We have a malt beverage, actually, which I don't really know the exact difference between a malt beverage and a seltzer, but it is still called, guys, a seltzer Smirnoff Pink Lemonade Seltzer. Let me see if I can get for it. Nice. Hold on, I'm focusing. Nice can. Let's see if I can focus That's kind of like the, what do you call it? Can't ever focus. Whatever. I'm not even gonna bother. You guys are gonna have to deal Balayage with it. Balayage or I don't know, the fate. Ombre or whatever. You are losing it. <laughs> Anyways, this is four and a half percent. Uh, Brooding can by the Smirnoff Co. Uh, Plainfield, Illinois. Again, 12 ounce can, skinny can. Now, boys don't like skinny can, but you know what? It's not the Nelk Boys, we don't care. So this is gonna be Smirnoff Seltzer, guys. Pink Lemonade, everybody's asking for us to review this one, Danny, so we're gonna do it for them. Let's do it. Okay, to the back. We have, again, 12 ounces, uh, servings per container, uh, alcohol by volume, 4.5%, so not 5%, 4.5%. Mm -hmm. uh, 98 calories, so two calories less than White Claw. And 3.3 grams of carbohydrate, Zero fat, zero protein, it is what it is. E is what it is. Why don't you crack into it? No, I can open it. You want me to open it? Yes. I'm always doing everything around here. Whatever. <laughs> Good packaging. Again, don't know the uh, price point. I will find out tomorrow. Maybe if you guys want to know, comment down below. I'll let you know what the price is. Or just point like come this. shop at Handsome Foods. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it is. So there's no variety pack. They're all the same thing, guys. Uh, it better be good, Smirnoff, because you know what? I don't We're have invested. Another, I don't have another choice. It's all you got in this 12 pack. Check it out. This smear, oh yeah, Smirnoff had the red, white, and blue. They have all they, kinds of things. And the other seltzers. Getting yeah. ice, you know they have the ice. Where, uh, you know, Smirnoff ice, you know what I'm saying? Is it? Where people it? used to get ice. Yeah, you get ice, but uh, that's not a seltzer. I don't know is what it? that is, malt beverage. Oh, it's malt so, beverage. I don't know what you want to call it. You guys are crazy out there. Crystal clear. Crystal clear, not much carbonation, tiny bubbling going to the top, uh, uh, aroma. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it smells it smells lovely. Pink lemonade. It smells lovely. Absolutely lovely. I smells have, like pink lemonade to me. I have no issues with this. Yeah, it's like kind of tarty, kind of sweety. Mostly sweet. I get a lot of lemonade, but I do get the the standard pink lemonade. It smells the part. Let's play the part. Let's see if it tastes the part. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Oh, it's dry. Drier than the last one we had. Yeah. It's like super sweet in the front and then it like fades off. Yeah. I mean, there's only 3.3 grams of carbs, there's one gram of sugar. So I'm liking this. I mean, you want to talk about crushability? It's yeah. there. I definitely get the like lemonade aspect. It's, it's like a little bit sour. There is. There's slight tartness. I will say the back end is watered down quite a bit, but again, to get 98 calories, 3.3 carbs, less than one gram of sugar. That's what's required sometimes, mm -hmm. is you get that bold flavor up front, and then you get the nice, refreshing, uh, drier quality on the back end, mm -hmm. which this brings to the table. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's definitely pink lemonade. See, I always affiliate malt beverage for being sweeter. For some reason, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because we grew up as kids and we would chug Four Locos because we're insane. And I mean I the did, original Four Locos. I, I don't mean the crap you guys got. I did gotten. not. I did not. Okay, well, I partaked in that or partook in that at some point in time, so we won't go there. But anyways, that's illegal. This is not, and I see that this is a refined recipe. I think it's quite delicious. Mm-hmm. I do, too. Yeah, I don't think, I think I would be able to have a couple without it being like too tiresome. This would be no issue. I think the flavors there, um, definitely getting lemonade. I mean, nice Meyer lemon or, or um, juicy lemon off the top. Uh, I don't know what you affiliate with pink lemonade. I mean, what, what do you, what, what would you say that combination is? Just lemonade and what though? It's well, hard like to say. what pink lemonade yeah, actually yeah, I mean, is. Like, just, what's the definition Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just interesting. I don't know. To me, it like... Smells exactly like the Minute Maid pink lemonade That's powder true. that you mix in with water. Yeah, yeah, and the, or like a uh, some kind simply of like lemonade. simply grapefruity kind of like vibe in there somewhere mm -hmm. deep down under. Yeah, I would say. But guys, if you're looking for dry, refreshing drinkability, Smirnoff Seltzer pink lemonade all day long. I respect it. If you like bold, sweet. Um, very, very sweet. This might not be for you, but I will say the front end does have that quality to some degree. Yep. Fades off, refreshing back end, dry back end. Uh, I like it. I think this gets the 
Dan and Danny, seltzer stamp for approval. And it's a pretty can. And it's a pretty can. <laughs> great marketing, great drinkability. You guys did it. You put it into a can in 12-pack form. I like it. Danny likes it. It is what it is. I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. We'll catch you guys on the next review. Thanks for joining mm -hmm. us today. Over and out. See ya. Cheers. <laughs>